So this is my youngest daughter's closet. We just redid it for her. Our oldest daughter's closet is about the same size and we did the same system for her several years ago and it's been working really well so we did it again here in our seven-year-old's room. And it's a similar system to the Container Store Alpha closet system but it's from Lowe's. It's the Rubbermaid Fast Track and so that way and you can move you know the shelves up and down so that if your clothes get longer or your storage changes your storage needs change you can move them up and down so right now she has pretty much the exact same setup as our oldest daughter we have a very high up shelf um, that actually could go up a little bit higher um, these things on the back of the closet wall are what you hang the shelves from and there's a few more um, spots that it could go up if necessary but right now I just have out of season clothes up here and then over here on the right hand side I just have some of her extra hangers you can see that some I just have some extra hangers right there and then um, her memory boxes that are already full and like I said that shelf can go up so if the shelf below it needs to go up at some point then everything can just shift up um, but the second shelf down now if you notice this shelf has the um, this top shelf is deeper than this shelf I think this is a 16 inch and it's got the close mesh the one down here I believe is a 12 inch deep and it's one that's designed to hang clothes from because I knew that I was going to have to use this shelf for the toys on top but then to be able to hang things underneath. So that one is one of the hanging shelves that you can get. And I just have this shelf right now for her larger toys that I did not want to have to stick under the bed or in the floor of the closet. I want them to be up off the floor but still easily accessible for her. So those are all of her larger toys. Coming down here in the middle, this is basically the, the hub of the closet. Everything is around this cabinet because she needed lots of toy storage and being seven, she has a lot of little tiny toys, a lot of little tiny parts. And we already had this um, storage shelf in the playroom. It's from Ikea and it's called the Trofast uh, storage system. And so basically you can get different configurations of the shelf and you can get different sizes of the bins and so if we wanted to switch out the two bigger ones and have all green ones we could it just depends on your needs and that's another good thing about this system is when her toys start you know stop being maybe so small and she needs more large bins we can swap these out for two more pink bins so it just so happened that her room is pink and green it worked out perfectly those actually match her room so what i did was we went through everything which was no small chore and then we sorted through the main types of toys that she had so she's got um, her Mr. Potato Head set here in the top, and they just slide out. I put these laminated uh, labels on the front, and then she's got, these are all Disney figurines. Oops. These are all Disney figurines, and the next one, it's quite full already. Then below that, we have um, LPS and other figurines. LPS is Littlest Pet Shop, and then any other, like, non-Disney figurine. So mostly these are Littlest Pet Shops. We've got some My Little Pony things in there. The one below that is all like plastic animals and figurines. So like, I know her little soft bunnies in there, but you know, these little plastic animals that kids have, she's got those in there. The next bin down is Barbie and doll accessories. So that's anything that would go with a Barbie or a doll like Barbie. So shoes and purses and clothes and all those type things. The bin below that is all Barbie dolls, just Barbie dolls. And the bin below that is any other doll, um, right? She's got Equestria Girl dolls. And she's got some G.I. Joes in there. So any doll that would not be a Barbie doll, but still a doll. So basically her whole closet system revolves around that center cabinet. And that's where she's getting most of her toy storage from. So on the left-hand side of that, we have this short, long-hanging section where she hangs all of her dresses. And so that needs to stay long and, and have not, you know, not much on the bottom. So on this shelf, she's got other things like other toys. She's got her uh, bunchums and her bristle blocks and her pot beads and a little dollhouse for her um, Disney Palace Pets animal. And then a Minnie Mouse play set, which she doesn't play with very often. So it probably is going to go bye-bye if she doesn't play with it soon. And then on top of the Trofast system, we've just got this Dollar Tree bin, which has some of the littler things in it, like her Viewmaster, her Disney CD, her Make Your Own Kaleidoscope kit, because I wanted it separate from everything else, because it really didn't belong in any other category. And then she's just got some little, um, little plastic animals that wouldn't fit in the bin. And then on the bottom of that side, since she isn't terribly tall, even with her long hanging dresses, she's still got a little bit of room at the bottom. 
So right now we've got her doodle board and just her keyboards down there. And when her dresses get longer and if we can't move them up, we will definitely be able to take these things out and put them somewhere else really easily. But right now that's where they are. She's got a little step stool down here that came from Walmart in case she can't reach something on her top shelf. And then on the right hand side we have a double layer of hanging, which is why I knew this shelf had to have the hanging bar on it because I was going to have to use that for two layers of shirts. So first layer of shirts is here and second layer of shirts is there. And like I said, those shelves go up and down. So when her shirts get longer, we can move everything up. And then right now, since her shirts aren't terribly long, she's just got this container with all of her purses and little bags that kids like to put things in. She's got that there that can easily be moved someplace else. So her hangers, actually I had did a lot of research to try to find the right kind of hanger because she's too tall for a, or too big for a baby hanger, but she's too small for like a um, adult flocked hanger, you know, that has the velvet on it so they don't slide off. I looked at Amazon for so long looking at measurements of hangers and these are actually a, a, um, a mid-size between a nursery hanger and the adult size flocked hanger. So I will link them below. They were the only ones I could find that were not just the same dimensions as a nursery hanger. And I knew that she had already outgrown nursery hangers and I didn't want those. So I'll link these below. And they had another pattern that had like a heart on the top, I think. And they might have even had boy versions. I will link them below so you can get them if you have been looking for kid size flocked hangers. On the back of her door, we knew we needed to hang things, um, you know, to utilize as much space as we could in her room because they don't have huge rooms and they certainly don't have huge closets. We, she already had this bag hanging on the door, but it was hanging with command strips and it would always fall off. And I don't remember where I got this bag because it's not a traditional shoe bag because the, the, um, the little pockets are way deeper than a shoe bag. So I don't really know where it came from. We just hung it up there with monkey hooks at the very top. You can barely see them, but they use just uh, leverage inside the door to hold it up. And so far it's been working amazing. So we've got these pockets. She's got all of her magic wands here and then her bow and arrow, which of course every seven-year-old girl needs a bow and arrow. The next two pockets are like her um, MP3 microphone and her magic moves toy, which we love. And then on the other pocket, she's got fans. And down below that, she's got two very sad looking babies that are flopping over, but she wanted to keep some of the baby dolls in her room instead of just the playroom. So those are the two that she picked to keep in here. And then below that, you've got to have Elsa and Anna. And below that, we have a an Elsa that sings creepily when you walk past her. And then a very old Cinderella doll from like, I don't know, 10 years ago. So anyway, that's what she's got on the back of her door. So for her dresser, uh, it's not a huge dresser. It's the dresser our oldest daughter had. And when we bought her her like teenager furniture, um, she got, my old, youngest daughter got this dresser. You've got the two smart, smaller drawers here at the top and then three larger drawers at the bottom. The top small drawer, we just have her underwear and socks. The right hand drawer is all of her hair accessories. It looks like a mess, but it really isn't. There's just not a way to make it look pretty. But she's got all of her headbands here and then just hair clips, two baskets of hair bows, and then all of her ponytail ties, I just use a binder clip. Well, these are stuck together. All of her hair ties are on these binder clips. So this big one has like all the little puffball-y type hair things. And then this one has just other ones. I don't know. We don't use them very often anymore, but they're at least contained. They're not all over the drawer and it makes it stay organized. And then she's just got her brush, her detangler, and there's a comb down in there also. Her next drawer, and this is kind of new for her, um, I just recently changed it because she's getting a lot more accessories and some nicer jewelry now. So this whole drawer is all just for accessories and there's plenty of room to grow. This pink jewelry box was actually my oldest daughter's and now that her jewelry collection has grown, we have kind of passed it down. But this is a really good starter jewelry box for either a young girl or somebody who just doesn't have a lot of jewelry. It came from Amazon and if I can find it, because it, it is quite a few years old, I will link it below. But basically, she's got room for her nicer hanging necklaces and then some rings and jewel bracelets and things like that. And then it's got a tray that slides out for some bigger pieces at the bottom. So she's got this one, which is mostly for nicer, smaller jewelry. And then for bigger things and chunkier costume pieces, she's got this little divided tray that came from Target. In the back, she's got a little tray from Dollar Tree that's got her hand mirrors and a lip gloss. And behind that, we just have some empty jewelry boxes that came with special pieces of jewelry. Over here, we just have a bag of her little lockets. It's like an origami owl uh, toy for young kids, and they're all plastic, but it's kept in a separate bag because she changes the, the, you know, the little things out. Like, you can change the 
the locket and the beads and all that stuff. So that's in a separate bag. So in this little jewelry box that she got a couple years ago for her birthday and she decorated, she just has her marbles and glass beads. They love little things like this. And so she's got those in there. And then underneath, she's got any of those press, like any of those pretty rocks that you get at like museums and places like that. She's got those in there. And in this little container, she's got her Disney pressed pennies. And then this is just a little jewelry making thing. I cannot remember what it's called, but you use this thing to make like a snow globe, a snow globe jewelry piece. I don't know what it's called, but it's in there anyway. And so that is her jewelry drawer, her accessories drawer, and she's got plenty of room to grow there. Below that, it's pretty basic, just her pants, which used to be in the closet, but when we changed up her closet system, I didn't have room to put them. So it never occurred to me, duh, to put them in a drawer. So this is her pants drawer and some of her stuff is missing because it's in the laundry, but she's got like her tie, her leggings and then jeans usually are right here. And then the bottom drawer is just her pajamas. So shirts, pants, pants, and nightgowns. In her nightstand, I just have some things that she would probably need when she's in bed, obviously. This actually used to be my nightstand when I was a teenager, and it was like a dark cherry, and I just repainted it pink and then got these pink knobs at Hobby Lobby. But in her first drawer, which she calls her might need drawer, I just have these Dollar Tree containers, and I have her um, Aquaphor healing ointment because she gets really dry lips in the winter, and then just a cocoa lips, um, like a lip chapstick thing. She's got her piggy bank for change and then her wallet for all of her bills. The next container is kind of just a miscellaneous thing, but she's got tissues, her walkie-talkie, her sister has the other one in her room, her coaster, a couple extra bookmarks, and her wishing star from Disney World because everybody might need that. And in this bin, she just has her notepads and some pens and things that she would like to write on and I guess apparently a chalkboard I didn't know was in there. And underneath that, she has a mini clipboard from Justice. Oh, and her tiny little Bible right there, which was mine when I was little. In the second drawer, she has all of her kind of handheld electronics. So she's got her Leap Pad, her Leapster, and all her games for that. Her Leap, um, what's it called? I don't remember what it's called. It's like a, I don't know. It's a, it's a Leapfrog product. I don't know what it is. Um, this old Fisher-Price apple counting game that was my oldest daughter's, but it teaches addition, and she likes to play it, so it's in there. And then my old speaking math from, like, the 80s, which is pretty funny. Back here she has all of her play cell phones, a little pretend mp3 player, her digital camera, and her little digital like movie recorder that she has. And then in the bottom drawer, which right now it is all of her Leap Pad tag books. I don't know that I'm going to keep them in here forever, um, but they didn't fit in her book basket that's beside her bed on the other side. And since these are something that she doesn't usually do necessarily at nighttime, a lot of times she likes to do these in the morning. Um, or sometimes I'll have her do these as part of her, like, independent school time. But a tag pen this is amazing. Well, this is the old version. They have a new version now. I would love to have the new one. But this was my oldest daughter's when she was little, and it's still going strong. But basically, you buy these special books, and you download the book to the pen. And then when they touch the pages, it reads it to them. You can touch the pictures, and they make noise, and they talk, and do all different things. And there's games you can play with these. So they're really, really neat interactive books. So I love these. And this is like my very top recommended toy. I think of one of the, of anything that we've had uh, over the last probably 10 years. I think the tag pen is one of my top kids toys. So I really love this thing. So for her stuffed animal storage, I had to try to find a place to keep them and to limit the amount of stuffed animals she was allowed to have in her room. So I found this container at Ikea. It's the Scoob or Scub, S-K-U-B-B. -B. And they have different sizes. This is the biggest size that they had that is horizontal. They have one that's also vertical. But this is what she's going to keep her stuffed animals in. And she's only allowed to keep in her room what will fit in this container. So, so far it's been working out really well. And it's nice because it does zip up if you want to, you know, keep, make sure there's no bugs or dust that get in it. But it's been working out really well and it fits perfectly under her bed. She can get in and out of it easily and switch out her stuffed animals. So that is the organization for her room. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.